Now, let us see the process of excretion in human beings. So in human beings, various wastes are produced. As we have discussed earlier, the wastes that are produced are water and salts, urea, uric acid, creatinine, creatinine and uh, other salts are produced and carbon dioxide is produced. So these are the various kinds of waste materials including ammonia. This is also an important nitrogenous waste that is produced in the body of humans. So these materials are formed during different activities like respiration. While producing the energy carbon dioxide and water are produced. While conversion of proteins to amino acids, degradation of proteins. So in such catabolic reaction when proteins are converted to simple substances, nitrogenous wastes like urea, uric acid, creatinine, ammonia, these are produced. Among these materials, ammonia is the most toxic material. If these materials are accumulated in our body, it will disturb our cellular activities. If the water level is increased inside the cells, it leads to a condition called as edema, where there is a lot of water in the cells. It will disturb the osmosis process and if the salts are more, ions are more in the cells, then the ionic balance is disturbed, the pH is changed, such kind of, uh, such kind, uh, kind of changes are brought into the cells, so which leads to other problems. And these nitrogenous compounds also should not be there in the blood in excess quantity, so they should be removed out of the body. You know that carbon dioxide is sent out of our blood through the lungs in respiration. And ammonia is the most dangerous substance which should not be there in our blood. So along with this, certain pigments are also produced as a waste in our body. Like while the breakdown of RBC, bile pigments are produced. Bile pigments like bilirubin, biliverdin. So the bile pigments and the pigment like urochrome, urochrome. So these kind of pigments are also to be eliminated. And various kinds of drugs that we have taken, medicines we have taken, they are detoxified in the liver and converted to some other substances which are to be eliminated, excreted out. So, for the excretion of all these materials from our blood, our body has developed different mechanisms and we have a specially developed system that is the excretory system to take up the function of excretion of these materials from the blood. Now, we see that in humans we have an excretory system which is composed of kidneys. So before we understand about the kidneys of humans, the excretory system or the structure of excretory system in humans, we can do one activity. We can study the kidney of a mammal like goat which is available in a butcher shop or a mutton shop. So we can observe the kidney and we can see how the structure, internal structures. Then we can get a better understanding about the structure of the kidney. So thereby we can easily study the excretory system of the humans. Now, let us see the excretory system in humans. The human excretory system, it chiefly consists of a pair of kidneys. So, we have a pair of kidneys which are bean shaped and from the kidneys we have two tubes arising called as ureters and these ureters are connected to a pear shaped sac like organ called as urinary bladder and it has a passage out for the excretion of urine called as urethra. Urethra, urinary bladder. Urinary bladder and ureter, a pair of ureters and kidney. So these are the important parts of the human excretory system. To study the structure and function of the human kidneys, before we look into that, we can go for an activity in which we can study the detailed structure of a kidney, practically how a kidney, a kidney looks like. So for this activity, you need a goat kidney. 
which is available in the market in a butcher shop or a mutton shop so for that you need a goat kidney so the kidney it should be fresh you need a tray and you need a scalpel or a, a razor blade or a knife short knife or, or a blade and you need a jug of water so now let us take the kidney goat kidney which is a freshly taken put it in the tray and wash it thoroughly so by that clearly you can observe observe the shape and what are the what is the shape and what are the connections it has got and then with the help of a blade only under the supervision of your teacher or your elders carefully cut the kidney carefully cut the longitudinal section of the kidney and then you will be able to see the interior of the kidney what is there inside you will find some kind of structures are found inside the kidney make note of your observations goat is a mammal and human kidney also somewhat similar to the kidney of a goat so you have a possibility or chance to observe the kidney in life taking the goat's kidney so now let us see the structure what are the various parts that are there in the human excretory system and what are the parts of the kidney and the function of the different parts now let us look at the human kidneys how many kidneys are there in humans in humans there are a pair of kidneys that is two kidneys which are present in the abdominal cavity so in the abdominal cavity the kidneys are attached to the dorsal body wall back side to the dorsal body wall these kidneys are attached these are bean shaped organs bean shaped that is the shape of the kidneys one side it is convex and other side the inner side is concave this is concave and convex side they are reddish brown organs their color is reddish brown and we have a pair of kidneys so in these kidneys one kidney is lower that is the right kidney is a bit lower compared to the left kidney because in this right side we have liver so as the liver is taking up the place so this kidney is a bit lower when compared to the left kidney if you look at the sizes of the kidney the height of the kidney that is the length of the kidney is around some 10 cm and the width of the kidney is around some 6 cm and if you see the cross section the diameter it is around some 5 to 4 to 5 cm these are the measurements of human kidney so here each kidney has got a hilus or a fissure on the inner side so this is the outer side that is on the inner side there is a fissure or a hilus through which renal arteries and veins are connected to the kidney and even the pelvis from that the urinary the ureter originates at this region the ureter which carries the urine to the urinary bladder and here in this fissure we find that some blood vessels are attached to the kidney what are the blood vessels attached why they are attached for the blood vessels they bring blood to the kidneys for purification here we see that this is the renal artery renal artery and this is the renal vein so the renal artery which contains the oxygenated blood it brings the blood to the kidneys renal artery the blood contains the toxic materials which enter into the kidney so inside the kidney purification takes place so after purification the deoxygenated blood after purification the blood which contains uh, uh, carbon dioxide and whereas the other waste materials are filtered by the kidney so now this blood is carried by the renal vein to the heart so the vein it carry the blood to the heart again for pumping to lungs and for uh, deoxygenation and other process so here the kidneys are connected to two major blood vessels renal artery and renal vein so these two blood vessels they 
bring and carry the blood from the kidneys that is for the process of uh, purification clearing the nitrogenous waste excess salt and excess water so we learnt about the external features of a kidney external features uh, of the kidney the color and shape the kidneys are bean shaped and they are uh, dark red brown in color so if you see the section of the kidney if you look at the internal parts of the kidney so there you find that the kidney has an appearance like this and this outer part is in dark brown color dark brown color the outer part it is called as cortex cortex of the kidney and the center part is called as medulla middle of the kidney so in the medulla region we find so many small units the structural and functional unit of the kidney are called the nephrons so nephrons are the fiber like coil thread like structures which aid in the process of filtration so the actual filtration of the blood takes place in the nephrons so they are the active units present inside the kidney and you find that renal artery renal artery as well as renal vein we see that renal artery and renal vein are connected to the kidney and here we find the ureter so ureter this is to send the urine the created the generated urine to out so these are the different parts so each kidney has got 1.3 to 1.3 to 1.8 million nephrons million nephrons are there in our body in each kidney so this is the internal structure of the kidney so now to understand the process of mechanism of filtration or excretion in the kidneys this structure and these details are not enough we need to study furthermore in detail about the functional unit of this kidney what is the functional unit of the kidney that is the nephron so if we study the structure of the nephron different parts of the ne nephron and the perf uh, functions performed by each part of the nephron then we can clearly understand the process of filtration in kidneys